Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome this morning to WLAZ Radio, The Dick. Well, if you ain't got one, you need to get one up in you. It is a Sunday morning. We got the Dream Cruise coming up today. It's a nice day. I'm talking to the mayor later today. He needs to put some basketball nets up on the court on the east side of Detroit. If he don't, I'ma tell him he can get the dick. W-L-A-Z, the dick radio. If you don't got no dick, you need to get some. Wake up, let it breathe. Right back on my grind, I'm sitting right as double D's. Wake up. Once you double down and you can get you three of these Wake up, shining like two and three Cost to be the boss, I'm trying to triple up my fees Wake up, niggas Ay. Wake up, niggas Ay. 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 Alarm clock, start on my days I got a phone in my face This way before I shit, shower to shave yeah. A nigga about to go and slave for the day I'm time traveling uh. This game ain't changed since way back in the day uh. Me and my acres still is trilling this field And other days gone Damn. I hit the door while I'm brushing my waves I'm plugging from my passion escape My motivation get paid This blue lace is bumping out my escape Alert the boys all in my ways I lean my seat back L's good, it's like the crud in my tray Bust a U, we in the mirror Tried to get out the way I was the MD environment I figured I'm straight Them lights be killing niggas' vibes, bud I give you a good hook Right up out my good book Like I'm Israelite Stimulation help me figure my stress Exhale and flick a light of chillin' Let it ease in your chest Ja, we blessed, right? Let it breathe Right back on my grind I'm sitting right as double D's Wake up To be the boss, I'm trying to triple up my fees. Wake up, niggas. Hey. Wake up, niggas. Hey. 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 Flows for days. King Zito. We out here broadcasting live with Theromatic. We out here in Detroit on the east side. Fuck with me. College. Niggas is at Oakland University. I met uh I met Emil Vincent, Elijah Day is cousin. He connected me with him. He made beats. And then uh I had a homie, his name Robo Rob. And he he went to Oakland University too. You feel me? He was the first one that was like throwing shows on the campus and all of that. And he went to, he had a, a, a record label called High Hill, High Hill Records that uh, he ran with with, a, with his homie named Moonchild that was on the same basketball team as Novelist at Rochester College. You feel me? So they, they were just throwing shows and we just started like running into each other and everything and just kept on building. We was like the the coldest motherfuckers in the room. You know, it was like the coldest. So just kind of like bonded over that and just kept it, kept it pushing and just continued to build, you know? I wrote my truth. No, no, them was my niggas. Oh, okay. I was working on the east side, not too far from here. You feel me? Like, those was my niggas. <laughs> you know, like, it, it made me sad. I was sad every time I had to quit a job. Right. You know, like, every time he went on tour. You feel me? But it was like, the reception over there was just crazy because it's like, I, I I used to live in Germany when I was a little kid because my daddy was in the army and shit. You know, but I was so young that I don't remember. It. You know, so it's like to go back over there, that was like my first time going to Europe. You know, so I was just hyped just off of being able to do it and be seen and, you know, put put my foot forward with everything. You know, I, I was real excited. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of the people was excited. They knew some of our songs and shit, signing autographs, merch, all of that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought this big ass, dumb ass uh, army duffel bag. I should have and I overpacked. It ain't had no wheels. Lugging this bitch around, we ain't have roadies or nothing, you know. So I'm bringing two fits per day. It's like I'm about to be fresh as hell. I grab giant bag, loaded it up, damn near with everything that I owned. You feel me? And then I ain't realized till we got in the airport. I was like, oh shit, and I got lugging this shit. This shit like, yeah, this shit like fifty pounds. Like the next time you went out of out of the country, I had you? wheels. Right. I had wheels. You feel me? I still overpack. I'm gonna overpack. I don't care where I go. Let's climb. Fly through the dark, through the spark, and I know that my life will reveal this. Detroit in the building. South side in the building. Shit, I did. I was like, shit, nigga, that shit priceless. Like, rapping by yourself not special. You can't take away from the hook. You can't take away from the hook. That's that's the that's the hook. It's the shit that. Whoop. Come and snatch them, you know. It's a fact when motherfuckers see it. it's like, oh, it's like four of them, you know. Like that, that's the thing that makes it like special. I I never say like making solo music not not special or no shit like that, and I rap because you feel me, like, nigga, it's what I do. I enjoy it. Everybody need a purpose. You feel me, and that that's one of the things I felt like. uh Rapping and hip hop gave me so much life and gave me so much purpose when I moved here from Colorado. You feel me? It's a thing that I found that like between that shit and my daughter, like having my daughter and rapping, I feel like that's like the anchors in me, you know? So it's like, I, I want to be the best father. I want to be the best rapper. You feel me? Cause them like my two anchors that keep me grounded, you know? So it's like, I still fuck with it. But being in a group is like so unique. It's so unique that to take away from the hook of the most unique feather you got in your cap is like. When did you move here from Colorado? 2006. Okay, so you, you ain't I've been, been here a long ass time, yeah, bro. Been, yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been here like half my life now. At this point, so you claim Detroit is your like your base base, or I don't know, cause I always end up in spaces. I'll be talking to my niggas about this. It's like I'll be out here, and then some shit uh, come up, and then it's like I realize like, nah, ain't no Detroit nigga. Nah, not, not to my core, not to my core. You feel me? Like, I've, I've been here for, shit, 15 years at this point, you know, but, like, all my formative years was in Colorado. I still go back. My little brother and sister still stay out there. You know, I didn't, I didn't successfully uh, converted a, a portion of my family to move out here. My mama live out here now. My big sister, uh, she live out here now. My nephews live out here now. And my niece, you feel me? So... It's like, I consider this to be home. Mm -hmm. Detroit, definitely the crib. You know, well, I'll be like, I'll be talking to my man. It's, it's certain things where it's like, where I come from, it's okay to fold if you don't have some shit. Okay. In Detroit, there is no folding. There's no folding. If you don't have it, nigga, go get that shit. What you mean, you don't have it? Right. That's not acceptable here. That's acceptable where I grew up at. <laughs> you feel me? So, so the limits that niggas will go to in order to get some shit here, you feel me, is totally different. Out here, I say like the big difference is where, where, where I grew up at, it's like, I right, just go get a belt from Walmart. And niggas just go get a belt from Walmart for $7. A nigga out here, I need a fucking... Nigga, I need a Gucci belt. Fuck a Walmart belt. I need $700. I'm going to get $700 for this belt. Period. Because that's the belt. That's the belt. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. And you feel me? Like, those are the parts of myself that got developed by moving here. That, that kind of like, you feel me? Like, 
put me in a whole different headspace. My my determination and my drive, like that shit clicked from moving here. I ain't had determination and drive. I was chilling when I was in Colorado. People say this is the place to be right here on Woodward Avenue. Take a look. We're talking about old cars, new cars, fast cars. All right. So, so the album is called Dream Cruise. Uh, it's produced entirely by uh, DJ Mitsu. He he from Japan. Feel me? One of my favorite producers of all time. You know, I was able to click up with him and, and, and really bang this shit out. So I was walking by the majestic. This is a couple summers ago. I ran into Nolan and Ninja. You feel me? I ran into Nolan and Ninja. I want to say he was with Gully. And then he was with this little Japanese DJ that was out here visiting named Cutbird. And like I had already wrote, uh, I might have had one song, maybe two over some Mitsu beats. I found DJ Mitsu when I was looking for beats for Detroit Revolutions, Clear Soul Force's first album. And that's how I found out about DJ Miss, who just looking on YouTube. I was like, this nigga cold. You feel me? So I was just like always tuned in to his shit. So I follow him on social media, listening, looking for more or whatever. And a uh, little Japanese homie, Cutbird, that was with Nolan. You know, it's like I, I was chopping with him. I asked him if he knew DJ Mitsu because he was from Japan, too. He was like, yeah, yeah, I know him. I was like, oh, shit, that's what's up. I made the song over one of his beats. Right. You feel me? If I give it to you, could you get at to him? He was like, yeah. I was like, I didn't bet. So I sent him the shit. It's called Cloud Nine. I ended up putting it on the album because Miss Who Really Fuck With That Song. You know, so uh, I, I just sent it to him, you know, and then he sent it to Miss Who. And I just opened up a line of communication. I knew Mitsu for like, shit, like, probably like five years, five, six years at this point. You know, it was just like around the time when the pandemic first cracked off or whatever. You know, he, he had said it before, but, you know, I was doing group shit. The timing just wasn't right. You know, he was like, oh, I, I, love, I love your music. I love your flow. I love to work with you. And he said that shit around the time, like, the beginning of the pandemic. And he was like, I really love to do an album with you. I was like, man, he said an EP. You feel me? But it's like, shit, if I'm a only, well, if this the only time that I'm ever able to work with him. Right. Fuck is I'm going, all right, I'm going to just make four songs real quick. Fuck all that. I'm about to make the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing on it, you know. Right. And it, it, it just developed from there. He started, kept on sending me beats, real responsive, helping me with whatever I needed and shit. And I was like, all right, then fuck it, we doing it. Yeah, you know? Yeah. No, 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 no. Like uh, FaceTime yeah, right. and shit. Well, face to face. No, I'm for sure going to Japan. I'm going to get vaccinated to go over there. <laughs> fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Each child catch me cheap and I'll go he was even. Buddha barely read his bitches saying G's walking past us leaving every passing season. Burn it down the fuck you think. Shit it got shit gon' give me some clout, bro. For real. Like, hey, this that bitch. This that one. I'm telling y'all it's cold as hell. Um I, I I listen to it a lot. It's almost like a concept album. You know, it's like a real, a real thing. You could just turn it on and play it. You feel me? But I really feel like with all of my shit, all the people that I know, my my homies behind me, you feel me? I'm behind myself. And I done just grown into a space where I'm so much more liberated and I got so much freedom of my time and movement and my space to claim, to do whatever I see fit with this record. You feel me? That That's what give me like I got the utmost confidence in this shit. I ain't gonna be in this same position a year from now as an artist. Right. If, if 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 we if we run it the 2022 September 9th, you know, like that that shit would be right on. You know, like I I know that I'd be in a different space. This this gonna this gonna change my artistic uh, course. If my thoughts to mimic my reality, me the dream it was a valid. If my
and get on the I, track. I, I made it a point to rap slower because I always realized in Clear Soul Forces it was like a track meet. Like, bah, 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 like bone thugs, you feel me? And it's like, I could do that shit, but it's like, when I, when I really look at the things that make me, me, it's like, you can sit here with me, you can tell, like, I'm chill, I'm chilling. You feel me? So it's like, I just really wanted to make it a point for people to know, like, and, that, and that's my thing, you know, it's like, I'm a rapper. Like, the acrobatics, the theatrics, and all of that shit, all of that shit, I see the place for that. I see how that shit works for other people. But me, I'm a rapper, you know, and it's like, I don't, I don't know if that was always able to be conveyed working in a group setting. That That's why I say that's the part where I'm just like, I like doing this shit by myself. It, it allows me to be able to like kind of just grab niggas and, and walk them like dog walk them like, nah, you need to hear this. And it's easier for people to hear and understand shit if it's, you know, you could either eat like Kobayashi or you could, like, eat like you in a restaurant, like you got some damn sense. You feel me? And it's like the, I feel like everything that I was giving people before was like on some uh, hot dog eating contest, food eating contest shit where it was just like, I consume fast, 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 eat, eat, eat. You know, everything was just like, feed them, feed them, feed them, feed them. Like, now I'm like, I'm going to prepare some shit for you. Go wash your hands. Sit down. You feel me? Here goes some wine or, you know, beer or some water or whatever you drinking. Ain't no telling once I'm touching down. I came in a jet. Gliding to another plane that I ain't visit yet. I doubled down. Stood on my own too, then left in a vet. I got one of the last Clear Soul Forces songs in existence on my shit, on God, on God. Y'all see me? See me? For real, for real. So this is it for the Clear Soul? Y'all ain't doing no more? Y all, y all. I, maybe. I don't know. But it is like it's. We chilling. We in a whole different space now. Right. We in a whole different space now. I I never say never. Right. You feel me? But. It's all love. It's like, it's just, it's just yeah, fun. like now, now we in a space. It's like, shit, now, shit, nigga, we doing solo music. So it's a whole different thing to hop back in and like try to make a group album. Right. The, the less you occupy that space, the harder it gets to reoccupy that space. So, so to leave it is just like, You know, but always get on your album and get on. Yeah, you feel me? And it'll just end up being easier. We could reconnect for one. And it's like I be seeing that uh it don't it don't necessarily you don't always gotta be joined at the hip. You know, like we 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 30 plus. So for all of your decisions on what you're trying to do in your life to be based around your man's and your man's availability, that was cool in a different era of life. That shit not cool no more. It's not cool right now. Right now. You know, like that shit not cool right now. You know, so we we really did our due diligence too by getting uh, Detroit Revolutions was never on streaming platforms. Cheat Code's EP wasn't on uh, streaming platforms. You know, it's like we made sure that we got that shit up. So y'all niggas is left with like 100 songs. You know, and I always tell people who ask me about it, look at this, Outkast. They did it to me. Tribe did it to me. Left. <laughs> It's a blessing. It's a blessing and that shit an honor. I I didn't foresee that shit when I moved out here. I wasn't even rapping when I moved out here. I was just writing shit down on paper. I was too scared to rap because there wasn't no rappers on the South Side. You feel me? Not none that I respected. I used to make fun of niggas that rap. That was, that, it, it, was, it was a total shock. And it, it's 100% the opposite 
of who I was and how I was when I was living in Colorado. Because I ain't no rapper. I ain't telling, I am not no rapper. You feel me? I'm a nigga, I could rap. I ain't no rapper though. You feel me? Like, so it's like to see that and everything like come full circle, I realize that I'm like super blessed. I realize that I'm like super fortunate. There's a reason I believe in God. I wouldn't believe in God if it if it if it wasn't for for hip hop. Hip hop showed me that there's a higher power because I don't feel like this no shit. I'm not a rapper. Like, ask my mama, ask, ask my little sister, ask my homies that I grew up with. Like, they'll tell that nigga Jarrell ain't no fucking rapper. But Jarrell, oh no. <laughs>